too. She said, listen, you know, David's going to die, to quote her. You know, uh, David's going to you know, end up getting sick and dying if you don't give him Hindu tea. And she snuck later and admitted he got really healthy. And it was basically a probiotic of boiled chicken crap. And he basically didn't get sick after she started giving him boiled chicken crap, yeah. which, which is what, I mean, imagine blacks coming from slavery and all that. They had to have their own medicine. They knew what to do. Well, and manure, it's the same thing right there. Manure has been highly prized for centuries until we got the, the NPK fertilizers. Manure was incredibly prized. A precious commodity was manure. Manure is, is loaded with all kinds of important bacteria, uh, uh, good bacteria for, for, uh, for growing plants. and minerals. Yeah, and she had to sneak and give it to him. Yeah, so, you know, the old, a lot of times the old-time remedies, they trump the new-time remedies and the, the pharmaceutical remedies a lot of the times. All right, so anyway, I want to talk also about SSRIs, uh, ser selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors. You know, we talked earlier about how estrogens are anxiety-promoting stress management hormones. Well, guess what? A lot of folks don't realize serotonin is the same way. We have been flooded with misinformation about serotonin being a happy hormone and being a hormone that helps improve your mood, et cetera. Everybody wants to make sure that their serotonin levels are high. Serotonin is, like estrogen, a stress management hormone. It is a vigilance hormone. It's an alertness hormone. And yes, it's important. It's clearly important. But what it's important for is helping the body handle the ups and downs, the vicissitudes, the survival threats that are part of being alive. And you need to have a certain amount of serotonin. However, you do not want to poison your serotonin metabolizing system to the point where you have too much serotonin. When you have elevations in serotonin, that's what the serotonin reuptake inhibitors do. They keep serotonin levels super high, artificially high, you end up with this pro-vigilant state, with this almost paranoia state. And what happens when people take the Prozacs and the Zoloft and the serotonin reuptake inhibitors, what can happen is that they can become paranoid. And that's why you have almost everybody, almost, uh, almost all the people who are doing these school shootings and the psychiatrists, and the Navy psychiatrist who was doing this, who shot up the Navy base and people doing these crazy mass murder kinds of things, almost invariably, they're on a serotonin reuptake inhibitor, Alex. It's like a direct link between, uh, between mass murder, mass murders, and, uh, 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 and serotonin oh, reuptake Oh, yeah, when inhibitors. we heard in Austin that a guy like a zombie had just shot a cop for no reason in Walmart, I, said, I said he's going to be on those drugs, and you know what right. he was. Yes, it's almost always, Alex. You can almost assume that when there's some ridiculous mass murder, school shooting, crazy, out-of-control behavior, that uh, resting behind it is some kind of serotonin reuptake inhibitor. What it underscores is the craziness, the utter stupidity, the illogical nature of using pharmacological therapy to deal with psychological issues, to deal with uh, physiological issues that are associated with poisons and toxins and lack of nutrition. We've got this pharmacomedical model that does not serve us. We've got this pharmacomedical model that enriches drug companies, that enriches the proponents of the medical model. It enriches the insurance companies. And, and speaking of the insurance companies and the drug companies being enriched, what do you think Obamacare is about? People, do you think Obamacare is in any way, shape, or form about taking care of your health with the exception of perhaps major medical and traumatic, uh, traumatic, uh, 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 heroic medicine helping heal from It's openly about turning it all to drugs rather than medicine or real diagnosis. Openly. Openly. And it's about death panels, and it's about doubling and tripling prices for insurance companies. It is big pharma taking over. That's right, and it's a redistribution of monies. It's a redistribution of wealth. In the, a, classic, uh, a classic example of taking money from the people and concentrating it into this, uh, into this corporatocracy, this oligarchy that's made up of elites. And we as human beings and we as people and we as citizens have to do something to begin to participate in our own health care. We cannot depend on the government to do it for us. We cannot depend on government mandated or government funded or government authorized insurance companies and a government authorized medical model to do it. And this is where nutritional supplementation comes in. This is where lifestyle choices come in. This is where not participating in eating in the corporate, eating the corporate swill comes in, especially when it comes to developing minds and developing, baby, uh, developing bodies like our, our children. If, if it's important for us as adults to drive past, not drive through, it's 
extra important. And while it's easy to be glib about not going to McDonald's and not eating the fast food and not eating the drinking the soda pop, etc., it's difficult to use willpower to do it because these people who create these kinds of foods, they're smart. They're really smart. They got PhDs in understanding how to manipulate the human brain to get it to do what it needs to, to get it to do what they want it to do. So what you have to do is you have to protect yourself against these kinds of foods and against these kinds of messages. And the key, the ultimate strategy to protecting yourself from these kinds of messages and these kinds of foods, to, to weaning yourself away from the corporate swill without using willpower, which is difficult to do, is to get yourself on a nutritional supplement program. I know I've been saying this for years. I will continue to say it. The letters I've gotten, what I've seen in my own personal life, as well as in the, the lives of my patients and my friends and my family, it, it, to get yourself on a nutritional supplement program will change your life, and it will change your life quickly. It will allow you to withstand the sugar cravings. It will allow you to withstand the salt cravings. It will allow you to withstand the cravings for the snack foods and the junk foods without willpower. And this is one of the reasons why people lose weight and they lose weight quickly when they start, uh, when they get themselves on This is the key to the revolution. Program. Pharmacist Ben Fugue, stay with us. My name is Jessica Armand. I'm an activist, a GCN listener, and mother of three. Our drinking water and food are filled with fluoride and other contaminants that harm our teeth and gums. To protect my family, I created My Magic Mud, an all-natural teeth whitening and strengthening remedy. My Magic Mud is a soft powder that polishes your teeth, reduces sensitivity, and removes harmful toxins from deep inside your mouth. You deserve a bright, healthy smile. Visit MyMagicMud.com and get yours today. That's MyMagicMud.com. Did you know that gold and silver contain healing properties? It's true. Since the beginning of mankind's history, gold and silver have not only been used as real money, but also for healing our minds and bodies. Utopiasilver.com is your leading source for colloidal silver and colloidal gold supplement protocols that can heal and enhance your health. Call 888-213-4338 or visit utopiasilver.com for weekly discounts and sales. That's utopiasilver.com. Fighting for liberty and healing one American at a time. Hi there. My name is Frank Bates. What I'm about to tell you in the next 60 seconds could get me in a lot of trouble. I just created a free video presentation at 123coverup.com that exposes the electricity monopolies and government agencies for what they really are. Incompetent, lying crooks that are counting on your ignorance and fear to keep your power bills criminally high. Some have called this a conspiracy. Others have called it a cover-up, and you will be shocked to find out how deep the conspiracy goes. My video at 123coverup.com exposes the truth and shows you the secret of how I beat them and how you can beat them too. Watch the controversial video that thousands of other smart patriots have already seen in the last three months. Go to 123coverup.com and discover one weird trick to slash your power bill and protect your home. Go watch my video now at 123coverup.com before they force me to shut it down. Again, that's 123coverup.com. Hi folks, Alex Jones here with some important information. I want to tell you about Matt Redhawk and his team of patriots over at My Patriot Supply. Several years ago, Matt was sitting in his two-bedroom apartment, frustrated with the direction this country was headed, and the charlatans willing to sell us out for a quick buck. Deciding to take action, a company run by Patriots for Patriots was born. My Patriot Supply has never taken a loan or accepted outside funding. They now operate two distribution facilities and employ over 50 hardworking American men and women. It is rare to find companies who practice what they preach. And that's why I stock my pantry with high-quality storable foods from My Patriot Supply. Go to MyPatriotSupply.com forward slash Alex today for special offers on emergency food storage or call their preparedness specialist at 866-229-0927. That's 866-229-0927. Do business with someone who shares your values. MyPatriotSupply.com slash Alex. Russia is uh, massing military forces near the border with Ukraine developing. That's up on DrudgeReport.com. Jittery customers are now running on banks in Crimea. 
That's being reported by the Associated Press. Uh, and if you go down lower into DrudgeReport.com, uh, there is a report on there dealing with the TSA agents in the middle column to eyeball bus passengers during security exercise. And this is a Paul Joseph Watson article. We told you this was coming because I saw him on C-SPAN back in 2002 say one day you'll have to go through us to get a job, any job. Uh, we're going to run everything. We're going to be the, 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 the federal police force. And we're going to be at bus terminals, the trains, and then the roads, and then internal checkpoints. And they're doing it. They've got TSA ads where it shows them at the mall and, you know, football games. And, and, and a federal judge ruled uh, last year that at, uh, they have to have TSA at proms in New Mexico for safety. Because you have a right to be surveilled and groped. You have a right to be safe. And you have to have TSA there. It's a right to be a slave. Pharmacist Ben Fuchs is our guest, the host of the GCN Radio Network, right before us every day, right here on GCNlive.com. Again, um, I'm Alex Jones with InfoWars.com. If you just joined us, I wanted to shift gears now, Ben. Obama admin trouts out angry mom to push Obamacare. <laughs> and, and it says, I'll, uh, I'll just wait here until you get covered. And they have these videos yeah. where it's bossy parents I mean, this is literally trying to intimidate us to go sign up for this massive screw job. And then now the feminist control freaks, including Michelle Obama, say they want to ban the word bossy because it's associated with women. What about associated with control freaks? I mean, these people are not liberals, Ben. I, I know you well. We've hung out quite a bit. I would consider you a liberal. And there are a lot of people that really are liberals who are not these people. What would you call these people? I mean, they're a bunch of... Twisted. You, I call them twisted and perverted, and I don't even know if they're human beings, to be perfectly honest. I don't know if they have humanity, because I don't know how people can do that to other people. I don't know how anybody can live with themselves understanding that they're poisoning their fellow man. I don't know how people can live with themselves knowing that they're using prescription drugs when people are sick and starving from lack of nutrition and lack of food. You, know, did you, you probably saw this article that was uh, all over the news about the kid who couldn't get his drugs, and now all of a sudden the, the government or the drug companies have decided to let the child, the poor baby, have his drugs. Have you heard about this? Oh, yeah, so everyone's That's, clamoring like right, the Christmas right. toy. Right, exactly. There's this messaging that is put out that drugs are going to save us, that the government and the pharmacomedical uh, model, the government-authorized pharmacomedical model is our saviors. And I'm telling you this as a healthcare professional, as somebody who's been studying medicine now for pushing 30 years, this is not how the body works. And it's not that complicated. The human body needs water, it needs food, and it needs oxygen, and it needs to have an ability to clear its poisons out. And that's pretty much it, folks. There's no doctors that are required. Required. There's no drugs that can do anything about it. But the good news is, is we can take care of it ourselves by getting on a good nutritional supplement program, by making sure we're eating a lot less food and we're not participating in, in the corporate swill, as I've been saying. Making sure you're doing something as simple as deep breathing. Making sure that you're doing simply, something as, simply, as simple as oxygenating and blowing carbon dioxide out. Deep breathing, clean water, moderate exercise. It's not that hard. It's not that complicated. And you don't need a Obamacare, and we don't need a nanny state infantilizing us and telling us that they know what's best for us. I want to ask you, you know, this is a war on women, all these estrogen mimickers, but it's really a war on men. I want to get your take on the war on men because it's undoubtedly going on. They admit they're doing it. Why are they so scared of men with pharmacist Ben Fuchs? And then John McAvee in studio for an hour and a half. We're doing extra overdrive today on this Thursday edition. <laughs> This is GCN, the Genesis Communications Radio Network. The globalist social engineers are not just targeting us with propaganda. They are manipulating our genetics. We are being targeted at every level by estrogen mimickers that lower our testosterone and other hormones and natural compounds that the body needs. After consulting top doctors, nutritionists, pharmacists, and others, we have developed what I believe is the ultimate non-GMO organic super male vitality formula sourced from powerful organic herbs and then concentrated for maximum potency. 
potency. Super Male Vitality was developed to activate your body's own natural processes instead of using synthetic chemicals. Super Male Vitality by InfoWars Life is so powerful that I only take half the recommended dose. For a limited time, we are offering 15% off Super Male Vitality at InfoWarsLife.com to introduce you to this powerful supplement. Visit InfoWarsLife.com today to secure your Super Male Vitality. InfoWarsLife.com.